So in this example, here's the sequence, and we want to find an explicit formula to represent the nth term. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out, is it arithmetic or is it geometric? And by the way, sometimes they're neither, okay? So when I look at 32 and negative 8, what would I add to 32 to get negative 8? And then when I add the same thing to negative 8 to get positive 2. So that just doesn't seem like that would be possible. Plus, if you look at these, I go from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive. I don't think I could add just one thing and do that. Um, so I'm going to rule out arithmetic, but I'm going to to find R and see if it really is geometric. So if it's geometric, the common difference between all the terms, I'm sorry, the common ratio between all the terms is the same. So you take the second term and divide it by the first term, which is the same as the third term divided by the second term, which is the same as the fourth term divided by the third term, and so on and so forth. And when you do this, you see you get negative one quarter. So r is negative one quarter. So our formula for geometric sequence, and we're going to write it in function notation, okay, um, or we could write it in like we did the other one, a sub n. We'll do that. Okay. So that's going to be a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Well, we just calculated r. a sub 1 is the first term. So I see that my first term is 32. So I can go ahead and make my formula. So 32 times negative 1 quarter to the n minus 1. So there's my explicit formula, which is a ge for a geometric sequence to represent this particular sequence. And that's the end of this lesson.